All right, guys, I am back, and I think this will be the final butterfly one, but like I've said before, this is kind of just a series. Um, using these, okay, so, ruler out here, some of these aside. Now these are, or I finished up this card, sorry, um, Gracie's got a little friend over tonight, and so they're kind of talking, or actually not talking, they are watching a show. Um, so yep, I sewed on the lace here and I actually managed to find it. Oh. And those little things irritate me sometimes when they kind of bunch up. Okay. So, and it fits perfectly down in this little thing here. And when it's closed, I really, really, really like how it, um, that little bit of white lace shows a little bit kind of, whoop, whoop. Okay. Love that. Let me get my charger cord out of there. Oh my goodness. And then I haven't quite decided yet, so this one won't be finished for a little bit. Um, and I'm thinking that once the um, uh, we get the other journals that are like these little envelope journals, once we get it all set, then this will come together. Um, and then we'll make them all cohesive because, like I said, we're, we are going somewhere with these. <clears throat> okay, so I want to put like three or four of these um, quotes in the journals um and i'm hoping that they're kind of like um journal prompts a little bit that's kind of where i was thinking about going with those um so i'm just gonna kind of take a few of them and you know what bear with me a second guys i'm gonna go close the door really quick um because you know how teens and giggles go all right sorry about that so, yep, we, I really just need to get those out of the way too. So if we do four, I think, and I love these quotes because they're small enough that they're going to fit on the pages without kind of like taking the whole thing. And I might just go ahead and take and cut this whole thing here. And, um... Susan's got all kinds of different kinds of quotes in there. Um, the, this one's the nature. And then I think you've seen me use before the ocean ones. Um, so yeah, and I, there's, I think like three more, I think, I think she has like four or five total. That didn't go so well, did it? That's all right. Cause I'm going to kind of tear on the edges a little bit too, make them a little more um, rounded out. All right, so yeah, I was just gonna kind of tear around it just a little bit more, kind of, I don't wanna say make them raggedy, but maybe a little bit, a little bit more raggedy. Hope everybody is faring well with all of the craziness in the world right now. Um, I just heard back from the gal who um, won that little journal. So yeah, we will get that mailed out. Um, it's Tuesday night now, so it'll probably be um, either tomorrow or Thursday afternoon when I get it mailed out because I think... And this is purely speculation, but because um, I haven't actually looked at her address yet, I actually think she might be in Ireland. So, yeah, that will be fun. Okay. Um, let's save the big one for a little later. Okay, here's. I'm going to have to be really careful with this one, too. Don't tear too much. Oh boy, I just realized that, because um, I'm just kind of bringing you along with me while I'm crafting, this might be kind of dry. Sorry guys, if you don't really want to watch this, go ahead and fast forward a little.
think we'll just do one more for a total of three in there. Of course, I say that, right? And then I change my mind and I decide I want four, right? <laughs> okay, and so then the next one that I'm going to work on is the B one. And I am using um, Susan's um, bees out of the symbolic kit. Um, and then I'm also, I am going to use... Um, my Porch Prince uh, B1. Um, it's actually like a fussy cut pack. Um, and it's got like birds and bees and stuff like that. And I think she might even list it under like an Easter pack too. It's a pretty little pack, but I um, mainly for right now, I'm going to use it for the, um, for the, uh, bees that are in there um because it's just fussy cut stuff um it's not like uh like her graphic packs or I guess it is a graphic pack what am I trying to say it's not like her kit um stuff so yeah pretty exciting I think well and once you once you guys see where I'm going with this then I think you'll like totally dig it um I'm not gonna tell you concept yet we're building up the anticipation to see where I'm going with it, right? Okay. Okay, those are my four for here. So let's see. Um... Do we need to layer any of these? Hmm. I don't think that I want them layered, but I kind of like kind of like that. So maybe we're gonna be putting them on the eco print ones. I'm just gonna glue stick them in. I guess I should have started at the beginning, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, yep. I like it on the eco prints. And then I think um, I'm going to try to come up with some different ephemera for. Well, maybe not. I see. I keep going back and forth. Like, should it have similar? Should it have similar? Um, ephemera so it's kind of like a cohesive thing I don't know okay so let's see. Okay, so that one's got one so let's go and just do the other sides of the ones that we just did how's that sound sounds brilliant to me Oh, almost, almost had it, right? Almost messed it up. Sometimes those little glue pieces get in there, so you just gotta rub it off. Okay, and then our last one we'll put here on the back page. Okay. All right, I think that does it for this little butterfly journal for right now. 
and it stays down pretty well. I mean, it's a little bit chunky because of this little tag here, but I still like it. Again, we're going to wait till we've got all the little minis that we're doing here um, done. So yeah, um, I'm liking that. Okay, so let me show you. This will be the butterfly pack here. Um, really pretty, huh? These little ones will put the splash of color. And again, I'm still... Um, so I've got to pick now, and I did print three of these. Um, I think the cover, because it won't be as big as the butterfly one, so I was actually thinking that maybe we would figure out maybe a little bit different part of the kit or like the cover would be just a little bit different than the butterfly. So, sorry, I do gotta cut these out on camera so that we can get a good start to the cover. And then when it comes to putting the paper towel down, I am gonna just, um, I will do that off camera because it does take a while to dry. And I am going to make these a little bit different. Like this one, remember how we learned that we don't really like the, I wouldn't say don't really like, but um, the cut or the um, the envelope didn't work so well with the, um, doing it how I did it. So we need to kind of revamp it a little bit. And I think I have thought of a better way to do it, but again, um, I'm not going to do much off camera as far as the construction. Um, I, if you guys are interested, I will link the video. It's the hop, my hop, it, like it's titled hop, of um, how I used the paper towel around the pictures to make, like to build it up for texture. So um, I have a video of where I already do that. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna do that for the, for the next ones. You'll know which ones are gonna go on the covers. Um, but yeah, so let me just start that one. And I, um, the other thing I am going to use, this is out of the, um, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to make you guys watch me fussy cut this. I'll either be using this honeycomb piece or, um, I do have some die cuts that I might do for part of it. I'm, I, you know, I don't really know. Um, like I said, we're kind of just creating on the fly here a little bit. There's not too much that I'm thinking about but we'll go ahead and um, to finish out this little video we are gonna um, get a good start on you know stamping and that sort of thing and remember if you're gonna do this make sure your flap is like this way so like when you're decorating because then when we open it that'll be the flap that we're gonna use for the spine okay um, believe it or not I did do a couple where that's not what I did <laughs> I know crazy right Okay, so, and I think instead of music on this one, I'm going to do my new favorite word stamp here. And then I'm going to use the uh, coffee-colored archi archival ink. You know what? I think that's why I didn't like that one before is because I it just I, I mean it is what it is but because it wasn't quite long enough I think is why I didn't do that before but it's all right it's okay right Okay. 
Okay, now, I, I know I mentioned in the hop video that it was important to ink around these, and then I meant to tell you why it was important, and then I don't think I ever did. Okay, so for effect, I don't know if you can, if the camera will pick it up, but do you see right here? Um, it's got like almost like a natural frame color, um, and then it kind of lightens out, and then we go into the copper, right? Okay, so that's what putting distress ink around your edges did, okay? It kind of made it, I don't want to say watercolory, but maybe a little bit. So that glue kind of runs and makes those colors run. And that's, in my opinion, kind of what makes that, um, that kind of pop in that area. I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to stop the video and cut that honeycomb first. Um... And then I'll come back on once it's fussy cut. I won't make you guys watch that because that will just be really bad. <laughs> Would not be fun at all. Um, and, you know, truth is we might not even use it. So I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera, though, and I'm going to fussy cut that really quick. And then um, I will be right back. All right, guys. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. I am back for just a few minutes, and then we'll call it good for this video. All right, so um, I do like this honeycomb, but it is a little bright. So I'm just gonna kind of dull it down just a little. Yeah, it's a very bright, bright yellow. And then I am going to ink the edges up a little more. Okay. Let's get this little... Oh, okay. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. All right, let's go ahead and um, put our backing on. Remember, like I said, it was kind of warpy. I'm gonna go ahead and back that one. And I have some like half sheets already torn. I mean, I don't exactly know where. It's at one of these stacks right here, so you don't have to watch me tear too much here. All right, well, it was here. I try my best to keep all of it. Oh, duh, I did keep them out because I was thinking I was being proactive, which I kind of was. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. And remember, we're going to glue this completely down, and that's going to get glued shut. But the reason we do this is so that when I put on the wet paper towels, it doesn't um, doesn't seep or uh, warp, I guess. So this is already like part of it. Makes sense. I hope that does. I guess I should have measured that, huh? Probably would have been a good course of action to take.
All right, so that that's done. Whew. Okay, so then let's get this little guy down kind of how we want it. And I think I like this one in the middle. Okay. Okay. All right. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and make about the similar um, casing around it. Um, it is going to have more golds than than the bronze. I'm still going to use a little bit of bronze, but I'm going to put more golds in there than this one to kind of really bring that out, I think. I mean, we could always change that. And at the point, I will probably come back at the point where I'm putting in the highlights so you can see that. Um, yeah. All right. So guys, I will see you later. Thank you for hanging with me and I'll see you after a bit. Bye guys.